Hey guys, Eric from ProTextMounting.com in Grand Prairie. So we're down here in Cedar Hill installing windows. I come around the corner and these people are getting windows, not from us. Um, because they have a metal break in the front yard, I would say it's probably from Powers. And you can see what Powers will do to your home if you look at some of my other videos. But my point is this. You go on our job sites, my guys work there, my trucks are lettered, we have a job sign up. I come by there in a lettered vehicle. You clearly know who you're doing business with. Most of these window companies do exactly what these folks are doing. You got an installer who's probably a subcontractor. There's no markings on his vehicles. You don't know where, now the subcontractor, there's one guy that owns that vehicle and owns that equipment and then he has helpers. You don't know where they're getting the helpers from. You'll see that some of them get them from Home Depot if you look again at one of my older videos. Uh, they round them up as day laborers. Not saying that this guy did that. You don't know. My point is, they bought windows from a company, thinking they were doing business with that company. The salesman left, and they've not seen anybody else until this truck shows up at their house to install their windows. Now, who knows? This might be a top-notch installer, and they might get a great job. But then again, maybe not. Top is working on a, uh, an open trailer, minimal equipment. You know, you need a lot more than just a, a homer bucket to be able to do uh, windows correct, right? So, let me show you something real quick. We'll drive around the around the block here real quick, just so you can see the difference. Live in this neighborhood, and you're going to come here, you're on your way home, right? Come over here, you turn right. You go, wow, look at that. The neighbors are getting windows. Well, let's see what the job site looks like. Come over to my job site. There's my truck, fully lettered. That's the one my son drives. There's my enclosed trailer, right? The reason we use an enclosed trailer is quite simple. You can see by the ladders and stuff hanging off that trailer and all the equipment on the inside. There's a lot of money in that trailer. There comes Sasha, he works for me. Sasha has Protex remodeling garb on because, well, he's been working for us for years. We have a job sign posted on the front yard that clearly shows you who's doing the who's doing the installation, right? So these people, these homeowners, they bought from Protex Remodeling. I sold this job, as I do most of them, and Protex Remodeling is out here installing their windows, right? As opposed to, and 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 I mean we're close. Watch how close we are. I'm gonna go right over here. Took a little longer to get the, to get back over here, going the other way. I'm gonna go right over here. I'm gonna turn this corner, and there we are. No markings, no enclosed trailer. You know your windows that you just paid five, ten grand for are in the back of that trailer, going down the freeway at 70, 80 miles an hour. Not protected, minimally protected. I mean, and I get it. I used to work. When I was broke and still do, and doing this, I worked out of an open trailer. I get it. A lot of guys do. There's big, tall windows. Sometimes it's an inconvenience having a closed trailer. We just do it because I don't want my equipment to get stolen, and I want your windows to be protected. So there's the difference in what a job site looks like between Protex Remodeling and the competition.